my goodness. Come on, baby bad. Bella. Right there, come on. Come on. There you go. Hi, Hazel. Look, your mama's over there. Mama's over there. Oh, my goodness. There. I'm not used to baby goats just randomly. Run. Uh -oh, There's here. your mama. Hey friends, Jennifer here with Moreau Family Farm. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. We have some fun stuff going on today. And I thought it would be so much fun to share it with you. My husband's out in the barn and he is letting all the baby goats out into the pasture. So this is going to be lots of fun. Everything is so nice and green. My goodness. It is green outside. You'll notice that there's some little babies running around out there. My husband thought today would be a good day. We've had rain for a couple of days and everybody's been kind of cooped up. And um, today was a good day to just kind of let the babies out and, and do their own thing. So Ruby, I see, is out there with her babies I don't know where the other babies are obviously Ruby and Hope over there are having their little tiffs but all will work out that'll last for oh maybe a, an hour two hours something like that sometimes quicker but they have to get it out of their system but today is first day without rain I think we should have um, Partially cloudy to full sun. Hey, Abby. I was in the the hospital for a couple days. See, these guys are over. They're over here. They are going the wrong direction. Mamas are over here, babies. Come on. Hi, Abby girl. So, uh, I'm in the process of editing a video for you guys on um, our hospital visit. Zion had broke his arm, um, but there was a couple of interesting situations that happened, and I want to share it with you guys. I think it's something that's very important to get your thoughts and feelings on it, um, see if anything like this has ever happened to you guys so make sure that you watch out for that video hi baby come here hi hi don't go that way you're going to get zapped it's going to hurt <laughs> they don't know where their mamas are mamas took off without them mamas left you grass is growing nice look at this you guys my gosh you got a couple days of of rain, and you get some grass growth. Woohoo! It is nice. Hey, Mister. Hi. Oh, you girls are gonna get all muddy, aren't you, Piper? Come here, Piper. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Where's Hazel? Oh, there she is. Come on, girls. Come on, wild childs. Hi. Hello, girls. Whoa. The wildest of them all. Come on, Speedy Gonzalez. Come on. Let's go get your mama. Come on. Come on. Oh, the horror of watching them touch the fence. Oh. I've seen it too many times. Come on. Baby Bella. Come on, baby Bella. Oh, my goodness. Come on, baby Bella. Right there. Come on. There you go. Hi, Hazel. Look, your mama's over there. Mama's over there. Oh, my goodness. There. I'm not used to baby goats just randomly run. Uh -oh, There's here. your mama. Here they come. There's 
the mama. Stop it. There we go. Everybody's been found. Everybody found their mamas. Piper's like, leave me alone. Let me get some minerals over here. Move it, child. Hello. Is it me? Speaking of mamas. <laughs> Hi, Hazel. This peanut butter lover. <laughs> The hazel girl. So we have about a month left on Daisy before she has her baby. But some days she looks really big and some days she doesn't. You would think by now her stomach would be huge. Hi, mister. When she was pregnant with um, Abby, she wasn't that big either. Stop, you're getting me all dirty. This guy. Hey, Hazel, behave yourself. <laughs> Hazel says, that's my mama. Be nice, Hope. Be nice with the baby, Hope. Be nice with the baby. Oh, you need a brush. You are just... Look at all of this hair. Ruby's gonna hang out in here. That's a safe spot. Like, I like them in here. Yeah. You guys gonna hang out with your mamas? Hang out with the mamas. Piper doesn't want to be a mom right now. I think she's tired of being cooped up. Oh my gosh. These poor moms. Ruby's actually a really good mom. Considering that she has three, she is just um, really sticking with her three and not letting them really leave her side. Whereas Piper doesn't really care where her kids are. Baby, come here, baby. Oh. Piper's here. over there eating the salt block. Mr. Whoopsie. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Your mom doesn't care about you right now. Those little boys, they're something. They are something. Hi! Oh, little Clover. Hi! Oh, Clover, yes, right. Yes, so her name is not Missy, it's Clover, and I keep on forgetting that we've renamed her. Not we. Her, her new owners named her Clover. Everybody is doing amazing, and. They are exploring new places, finally getting a chance to get out and have some fun. Now they have to figure oh, out how to cross the yard. Oh, okay. Teach her how to walk across. Baby, She's going to fall in the water. Baby, She's going to jump right there, watch. Oh, now she does have super excellent jumping skills, but go on, Missy. You got it. Jump. Teacher, teacher. Let's see if they're as smart as we think. Oh, golly, I hate that. Mm, mm, mm. Well, they will learn that there's boundaries. And if you test those boundaries, you will get shocked. So, they will learn, unfortunately, the hard way, but they'll learn. What they're going to learn is that they can't go through here. That they need to learn to go around the gate. They'll learn that they can't go over to the boys. Don't go that way. Don't do that. You're going to get shocked. You're gonna get shocked. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Hi, sweet girl. Your baby's about to get shocked, Mama. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, oh, your scab is falling off. Oh my. Yucca. Hi. Ugh, that was gross. It was already hanging off. I didn't have to do much. 
Oh no! Oh, oh, she got it twice. Oh no! I hate this. I hate. Oh my Yeah, you have to go that way, babies. I'm sorry. What? They're walking through the water. Don't no! Don't do that! Don't do it! No, you gotta go around. You gotta go around. Look, you gotta go around. Clover, Clover, look. There's also a passage. They've all figured it out. Go on it. There you go. Why did she like went right there? Up, oh. up. Oh, Bella's like, nope. Stop it. Here, I'll help you across. Bella. The Missy, I'm mean, Clover. Clover. So they got their the salt block. We did actually once upon a time there was a bridge over here. But um, our Highland cow, yeah, it was kind of over there more. But our Highland cow walked on it too many. It was already kind of broken when we moved in. We were going to fix it. But our Highland cow kept on walking over it. And and the donkey, Peso, he walked all over it. And it just snapped, so we got rid of it. But this wood right here, this red one, this thing is so sturdy. Wow, this looks great out here. I can't wait until the grass starts growing in. While Zion and I were at the hospital, my husband picked up all of the brush that we had. Yeah, he burnt everything while we were at the hospital. That is so awesome. I had a huge pile right here too. They'll learn their boundaries though. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> I could see she likes jumping it. Finally, all of the green is growing back on the trees. Literally, this is within like a day or two. Just literally, I kid you not, overnight. Overnight. But it is so lovely. Look how green everything is. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Today is Easter. I hope that you are um, being grateful for... Jesus dying on the cross for our sins and we hope that you understand that believing in Jesus does not give you a free pass to go and keep on sinning but in turn it means that you are to love Jesus and God so much that you repent and turn away from your sins and be grateful that Jesus died on the cross for us, not take advantage of it. I think sometimes people, um, they don't understand the true meaning of what Jesus is for us or who he is for us. And that God sent him as in human form as an example of how we are to live. Not just that... You know, we need to believe that he's our savior, that he came to, for our sins, but to teach us how to act and how to live. And when we turn to him and believe in him, rely on him, and the Bible says God first, then your neighbors. So we need to understand that you need to love God more than anything else. And once you love God more than anything else... You will not want to sin. You will not want to do bad things. Um, you will want to live your life holy and glorified and righteous. I think there are a lot of Christians that do understand that concept. But I think there's a lot of um, religions or Christianity that are teaching people that you can continue in your sin. Technology wasn't available then and I get that it is harder now 
to, you know, do good and be good. But it's still the same concept where you need to realize that um, you need to love God so much that you don't want to sin. Just food for thought, girls. So I want you guys to go out and celebrate Easter. Not the Easter bunny. We don't do Easter bunnies. That's all pagan stuff. Bunnies don't lay eggs, people. This is a... <laughs> obviously, it's lying to your children. It's just like lying to them about Santa. It's not all fun and games. This is stuff that we need to teach our kids. That this is a... A way that has lied to our children. Let's stop lying to our kids. Oh, oh, she's going to knock you out. Girls. No. I didn't. No, I'm recording these two. Oh, I think Ruby got her because Hope is shaking her head like, ow, that hurt. <laughs> Go enjoy your feasts with your family. Talk about God. Glorify God. Be grateful for today. Um, you know, stay away from your sin. Oh, what is that? What, is that wire? It is, I think. No, this is a, it's that's not. A, that's a oh, wire. it did look like a piece of wire. Um, yeah, so I, I couldn't see you were blocking it. She was like hopping on her back legs, wasn't she? It's early morning, guys, so we're still in our pajamas, which is why I haven't turned myself around. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to go and um, just watch these guys and enjoy them playing. Sergeant's doing really good. He's such a good boy. Sergeant can care less about all these babies running around. When I first brought them out when the babies were younger, he growled at the little black ones, but he doesn't care much. Mama, 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 mama. Oh, there they all go. They're all going to explore a new space. <laughs> new spaces look at that it's a whole new world over there oh yeah not nearly as bad as what it used to be keeping the big babies off definitely helps with the mucky paddock Hi, handsome. The baby chicks are getting so big. Big babies. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Jive? Grass is growing. All of this grass. Last year, we had tilled this area up and we were trying to grow corn for the first time, which was a kind of a fail, but that's okay. Sometimes you need a little failure to learn from it. But this whole area from back there, along the side here, and all the way down to like right about here, we had tilled all this up, but then we put hay down. Look at this beautiful grass that is growing in right here. It was all weeds before. Look at that. Beautiful green grass. That's what I love to see. But I'm going to have to get out here soon, though, and mow the lawn. It is getting long. Hey, Miss Peppa. Hi, pretty girl. Oh, you muddy. You are muddy. I can't pet you when you're muddy. Well, I could pet the top of your head. Hi, baby girl. Hey, baby girl. You are a muddy mess. What's going on right here? You losing your little, you losing your hair a little? Pigs are known to lose their winter coats. So nothing to be alarmed about. 
so friends that is going to wrap up things for today thank you so much for hanging out with us if you are not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button hit the little notification bell so you know the next time that we post a video spend time with your family and in worship and in prayer god will remind you that he's always going to be there for you so don't forget what this day is about until next time you guys be blessed we'll see you later bye bye